Hey, hey Tigers. Tigers! Welcome back to Tiger Today. I'm Big J. And I'm Beast. Today we have a new segment for you guys. We're going to check out some of your fits and hear stories on how their fashion came to be. We're going to be expanding on traditional fit checks that you would see on social media. We're going to dive deeper into the fashion world, highlighting different types of students and styles. If you want to be featured on this segment next, hit us up on Insta at THS Publications. This week we're going to be focusing on a bunch of different styles that are thrifted. Thrifting has become really popular in fashion today, especially for teens. No matter what style you have, there are all sorts of pieces you can find at a thrift store. Alright, let's get straight to it. I'm here with today. Um, Ender Carruthers, hi. Alright, hey Ender, um, can you show us what you got on right now, head to toe? Yeah, so, just start from head. Okay, so I got these earrings from just Hot Topic. I got this sweater from a thrift store, this sweater from also a thrift store. All of my rings are also thrifted. These pants are from Old Navy, and my shoes are Doc Martens. Goth is a bold style and can be complemented with a lot of makeup and accessories like jewelry. The clothes are dark and often genderless. Cosmetics are used at a higher rate than usual. Styles are often borrowed from punk fashion, such as chokers and spike wristbands, sometimes confused with emo and heavy metal fashion. How would you describe your style? Um, definitely more like dark. I wouldn't really put much of a label on it, like specifically. I've been told it's pretty like goth or edgy, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, how has your style developed over time? Um, I definitely used to not wear things like this or just most anything that I wanted to just because I was too insecure, but I've started to become a lot more confident, so I've started wearing more stuff that I really like. We love confidence. That's great. How have your friends influenced the way you've dressed? Um, I think for sure I pull a lot of inspiration from my friends and they definitely boost my confidence a lot with compliments and stuff like that. A lot of my friends dress pretty much the way I dress, a lot of darker colors and stuff like that. So they definitely help me feel like more confident and know like where to get good stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, where and how, the way you grew up, like how did that impact your fashion and how you dress today? Um, well, I grew up uh, previously in the South, so we didn't really have a lot of money. So most of my stuff was secondhand, and that continued to be true when we moved to Oregon. But I really prefer to get stuff from thrift shops and stuff like that because it's just easier for me, and I don't really look for name brands that much just mm -hmm. because I grew up not really having access to that kind of stuff. Yeah, you say you're from the South. Um, over there, is the fashion around you, like in schools and stuff, like is that pretty different to what we have here today? Um, I'd say so. There's a lot less people that are open about wearing what they want. Um, it's more about fitting in. I mean, that's true here too, but it's very close-minded at times. For sure. Thank you. All right, Andrew, thanks for talking with us. Mm -hmm. Who am I here with today? Jaden Manlove. And Jaden Manlove, can you take us to what you got on head to toe? Of course. I have a green thrifted tee that I found at the bins. I have some Wrangler cargos that I got at Cabela's and some Birkenstocks. Y2K has made a nostalgic comeback recently, being greatly inspired by hip hop culture. This style reflects back to the early 2000s but has remained a staple in the fashion industry to this day. Y2K often features vintage clothing, baggy jeans, bulky shoes, and hints of workwear such as Carhartt, Timberland, and Dickies. How do your friends influence the way you dress? Um, honestly, I dress for me. I don't really dress for anybody else. Um, my style is dependent on me. I don't really look for style through other people. How does the way you grew up and where you grew up affect the way how you dress now? Um, being from Portland, growing up here, uh, I feel like thrifting has been a big part of just like who I am and my identity. Um, since, I don't know, probably when I was about nine, uh, I'd go to Goodwill and stuff with my dad and sort of pick different pieces out with him. He was very big with fashion and styling. Uh, he was a big, like, 2000s head, so he'd always wear baggy shorts and big tees. So that's kind of where I get my style from. What does your fashion mean to you? Fashion to me is a way to bring me confidence along with a way to express myself. Thrifting, to me, um, you know, you never know what you will find, but you know the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. 
That's all the questions we have for today. Thank you for letting us interview today. Of course. Who am I here with today? Jada Brandon. And Jada Brandon, can you take us through what you have on head and toe? Yes, I have my Air Maxes, my Nike socks, my Lululemon, biker shorts, camo, and then this Tiger football hoodie that I thrifted, and my Lululemon fanny pack. Athletic wear is comfortable clothing, not as flashy as usual thrifting outfits. They can often feature college universities that design and logos. Common athletic wear brands found at the thrift could be Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour. How would you describe your style? Um, athletic, cute, and comfy. And how has your style developed over time? Um, I, I've gone along with like the trends. I've kind of stopped wearing as much color and like thrifted more. And do you think that like there's a reason for you stopping to wear all those colors, or just like following the trends? Um, I feel like as I got older, I just started wearing more like neutrals and like got more basic, I guess. How do your friends influence the way you dress? Um, every night before like school, we'll FaceTime and text about what we're going to wear to school the next day. And how does where you grew up and how you grew up affect the way you dress? Um, here in Tigard, it's a lot of like white people, and so their styles are very different from like black people. Like if I were to live in Portland, I'd definitely dress like them, and just wherever I go to school, I feel like I would dress like everyone else. Do you ever wish there was more diversity in Tigard so you could dress in different ways? Uh, I don't really care. I'm I like my style. I'm comfortable a lot of the time, so that's fine. Okay, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching, Tigers! We hope y'all learned something new today, whether it be about thrifting or fashion. If you want to share your fit with the school, hit us up at PHS Publications on Instagram. See you guys. See ya.